Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, and this is my channel, Beauty Mark. So this is like a quick little update of my regimen. I decided to change a few things around and give you some updates of what I'm doing now. And I'm just basically trying to simplify my hair care routine and also just make it more efficient so that, um, you know, it just stays moisturized, it's healthy, I can train it more properly, and so on and so forth. So let's get started. So the first thing um, I decided to change up is I don't do the um, oil pre-treatments anymore. I usually find that, um, you know, when I'm ready, it's kind of like, you know, I applied some oils and then I was sweating or whatnot, so my hair is plenty of oily. So I decided to um, change that up. I don't do that anymore, which is, you know, it's fine. Just one extra step. Uh, I'm still using... The Apogee shampoo. Sorry, the like, there you go. It's a reflection. This is the Apogee uh, shampoo for damaged hair. I like this one just because it's pH balance. Uh, as of lately, I tried something new. This is also Apogee. This is the two minute keratin reconstructioner. There you go. Sorry, I'm getting like a little glare here. So I just, this is new, so I decided to start using this, and so far, so good. Um, you know, so that's what I do. I wash and cleanse my hair with that. Uh, then I usually blow dry my hair. I'll apply some uh, leave-in serum, or a serum, and um, this is it, the lock and block. Also, also known as moisture block. I'll apply that just to help protect my hair. And um, two new products I decided to try because the little birdie, birdie uh, told me they were good and they smell really good. Uh, this one is a leave-in by Nairobi. It's a soft finish leave-in conditioner. And it just smells so good. And I've been using that and then this natural oasis, it's like a oil, which I really like. I was using the um, castor oil before, and this smells a lot better, and it's nice because it uh, also goes on a lot more easily, so I like this. It smells really good, too, so I've been using that, and um, so I use this one and then the lock and block, you know, when I'm actually styling my hair, and then when I'm done, I use the oil. And then I'll, you know, apply the oil um, as needed to help keep my hair hydrated. Sorry, my hair is like a little poofy now. You're probably like, what's wrong with her hair? It is so humid here that this is this is about the strays it's going to get. So I hope you don't mind that it's kind of wild. Okay, so the two big changes I made are that I bought two new flat irons. So before I was using the FHI Technique, and that was a great iron. It worked really well. It didn't wear out on me. Um, I had some places where I had accidentally burned the cord, so a little bit of the wire was showing, so it was kind of acting funny when I turned it on and off, so I decided it was time for a new iron anyway. So I upgraded to the platform, FHI platform. Here it is, right here. And I actually just got this on eBay. How I think I paid like ninety-seven or ninety something dollars for it. And here it is. And this is actually one inch. And let me tell you, it's a big difference. This one is about uh, three layers of ceramic and it does a fabulous job of getting my hair straight. Not only that, when I straighten my hair with it, my hair actually feels really soft, which is um, kind of funny. So this works great. Um, I definitely am glad I upgraded. So now I'll be training with the platform as opposed to the classic or technique or whatever you want to call it. And this is a, a one inch flat iron. Uh, before I was using one fourth of an inch one and a fourth of an inch and I probably would have bought another one except I couldn't find that one for the price I wanted so 
One inch it is. So the next flat iron I bought is also an FHI. It's also a platform. And this one is a little bit smaller. And this one is the seven tenths of an inch. And I bought this one just so I could get to my roots a lot easier. And uh, I've used it and it worked wonderfully. And also so I could just kind of like get my edges and my nape like um, a little bit better than I was doing before. And both of these irons go up to uh, 450 degrees. Uh, like I said, they're both three layers of um, ceramic plating. And so far, so good. I really love both of them. I've only used them once, and I have not used them to heat train yet. Um, but I will. I'll be doing that next week and let you know how it goes. So far, I just love them. Love them. I'm so glad I bought them, and I could totally see the difference, you know, as soon as I flat iron. You can't tell now because, you know, I look like wooly bully, and the humidity's gotten the best of me. But um, they work really, really well. And other than that, that is it. Everything's pretty much the same. Wash condition, style, heat train in between. Uh, I think maybe, I haven't decided if I'm just going to do it every week or every two weeks. I kind of like go back and forth. It's kind of like whatever I feel. Uh, but the hair is doing really, really good now. Um, you know, this, the texture is staying very, very consistent um, still, which is great. And, um, you know, slowly but tr surely trimming off any of those um, straight ends that I got when I was using the um, keratin treatment. So that is it. Just a quick little update. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a message or leave me a comment or subscribe. <laughs> All right. You guys take it easy and uh, happy growing. Bye.